So it's Monday, and you know what that means. A full week of figuring out what to feed your family. We've got you covered today with Scott Conan, chef and owner of Fusco. He stopped by to show us how to pay one visit to the stovetop and get three different meals. Watch. Great to see you, Scott. <laughs> nice to see you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right, so I love the concept because we're going to show you something that will last yeah. you the whole week. Well, see, yeah, this is one of those things where you can cook beans in a big pot and then utilize them in different ways. And there's just a few, kind of a few ideas of okay. how you can do that. What, right? White beans. So white beans, mm -hmm. some pancetta. Pancetta is like uh, Italian bacon, mm -hmm. but it's not smoked. Does, do right? they serve it in the little, like if you ask the butcher for it, you get it in a little disc? You can get it in a disc or you can get it in a big, <laughs> it's kind of it? the wrapped, <laughs> it's the belly. And it's just kind of wrapped. Oh, is that what that right. is? Oh, that's... I don't want to know where it came from in the pig. I just want to well, eat it. That's what bacon is. Dick the stock. All right. <laughs> All right. Spice. What else All right. is in there? So garlic? So we got a little crushed red pepper, a little bit of garlic, some extra virgin olive oil, onions, and rosemary. Mm. Right? So these beans are already cooked. And this is the liquid that the, the beans are cooked in. Did you boil them? Or would it... yes, or you, buy them? Boil, you boil them. Okay. All right. We so, dump them in? So we dump them in. We cook them for a while. What's we that? We add some broth. This is chicken? either chicken or vegetable or some of the cooking liquid that the beans were cooked in. So then it looks like this, right? Okay. We cooked it for a while. We can reserve oh. some of the beans at the pancetta and What's chop this? it up really fine. That's a... <laughs> <laughs> you really do need to get I've out I've never seen often. this before. <laughs> so be careful. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's called a blender. So this it's is a, a blender? Stick, this is a stick mixer. So <laughs> you, you kind of... In my life. Yeah. Yeah, so you put it in there and you, and you buzz it, and that's how you puree the soup. Oh. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin okay. your no, nice, I don't want your that nice trust. But you take those beans and you chop up. This is the finished product, kind of rendered out pancetta so and beans. So how did they get all the thick? Just, by, just thanks to the blender. Just keep doing it until they get that consistency. The, yeah. it's amazing. Oh, it's isn't awesome. It? Okay, I'm gonna try it. I know we only we only got two minutes left, but mm. it's it's good, right? Delicious. Yeah, I get lucky yeah. sometimes. So the other thing, a few things you could do with those beans, also, right? You could take those beans, a little bit of some of that that puree, some of the leftover beans, a little bit of salt and vinegar, right? Just a touch for acid, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Put it over some bruschetta. So right on top of bruschetta, some parmesan cheese. How do you make bread bruschetta? So bruschetta is a grilled. A grilled bread so and a crispino If I get a loaf of something. regular bread, or like Italian bread, right? Slice I cut it up. it up. I put it in the oven. You could do that. That's a crostino. That's okay. crostini. Well, what's yeah. the difference between crostini and bruschetta? Bruschetta is grilled. Oh my god, it's <laughs> a lot of work. I got you. Okay. I got you. Is it all going to be on the website? It's going to be on the website, the website in great detail. I go to my yeah. own website all the time and I follow the instructions. If you need a home cook, I know a guy. <laughs> <laughs> you figured me out. Okay, All right. so, so that's number two. That's, that's delicious. That's number two. Another thing that we could do is we could take those beans, cook them up, make some uh, broccoli rabe pesto. So this is broccoli rabe. Food uh, processor, right? Food. Well done. Well done. I read it. Well I read done. it on the thing. That's right. Well done. A <laughs> little bit of garlic, a little bit of crushed red pepper again, a little bit of uh, uh, grated Parmesan cheese. Again, some, some, uh, some, some salt. You could blend that up into okay. into this pesto, right? Add a little bit more parm. Could you just so, buy the pesto sauce and the, you know, if you don't want to, just asking for can, a friend. Can you just, can you go, just stick with me here, okay. all right? Let's, we'll, we're almost done. Because just the beans and store-bought pesto seems easy. Like, I could do that. The answer or you is can you come, can. I can tell you can. Way, you can. Or you can come to Fusco. Okay. But, <laughs> if I can get out. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Talk about this. What is that? So grilled sausage, the beans, and the broccoli rabe pesto on on top of that. So right? do I ask? So, do I go to the butcher and say I want grilled sausage? Do you you spend a lot of time at the butcher? No, huh? I don't that know. Sounds like a good friend. I, don't, of yours. I like when somebody walks me through it in the grocery store. I don't want to have to do so it on my own. So if you just say, "Give me some sausage," and you could grill it yourself. I didn't make that sausage. So you, but None taste the beans are delicious. You make that? The broccoli rabe pesto. Well, I'm not going to taste it if you didn't make it. Well, this yeah, could have been done, made my yeah. executive producer. <laughs> You can't cook it here. That's good. <laughs> hey, that's good. Mm, that's tasty. Mm, but I kind of want that I got sausage. lucky. I got lucky on that. I'm going to eat this during the break. Good. You're the best. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. For these recipes in great detail. They don't want to make it a day. We'll be right back. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.